soybean field at the Farm Science Review and we have another live demo. We're going to demonstrate an automated soil sampling system. So we have Evan Delk here from Integrated Ag Services and um, they actually provide consulting here at Farm Science Review for the agronomy side of things and we're going to have another camera try to join us here so we can do a split screen view of um, Evan giving a description and then driving alongside the sampler. So we're going to try something a little bit different here so we'll see if we can get that going but Evan why don't you tell us a little bit about the um, sampler while we wait. Yeah thank you Amanda and Mary appreciate the opportunity and it's always fun to be out here at the Farm Science Review. Uh, we're an independent ag consulting company out of Milford Center, Ohio, and uh, we do soil sampling, uh, crop consulting with farmers locally uh, throughout the West Central Ohio area and beyond. And uh, we do high density uh, uh, crop scouting as well. Um, one of our uh, main services is soil sampling, and we have a little bit of a unique approach to where we're taking high density soil samples. So over time, we've understood the amount of variability in our soils. Uh, both um, uh, nutrient from a nutrient standpoint and soil type and um, you know if you think about soil sampling the way it's kind of revolutionized over time uh, it started out with zone sampling and then went to you know 10 acre grids five acre grids and now kind of the industry standard is two and a half acre grids and uh, the reason it kind of stopped at that two and a half acre grid mark is because uh, you can't uh, physically go out with a soil traditional soil probe and and four-wheeler and, and take anything less than a two and a half acre grid. So uh, we have uh, invented a system that allows us to take a lot of samples really fast. So we're um, taking samples all the way down to a half acre grid, which really allows our growers to uh, capture what the true nutrient values are out in the field. So we're getting high resolution uh, phosphorus uh, maps, potassium, uh, soil pH, and also we're able to capture that uh, organic matter and CEC levels on a half acre grid uh, level. So uh, our growers, um, we started this in 2011 and our growers have uh, really um, been excited about the data and information they've been able to use on their farm and, and ultimately uh, make them more profitable on their operations. So uh, it's both um, you know, a benefit for um, agronomics, uh, the economic and the environmental standpoint as well. We're doing a much better job of placing our nutrients uh, where, we, where we really need to. So um, this is actually the, the fourth soil sampler that we have built. Uh, started out with a prototype in 2011 and then now we have uh, three machines. So uh, this, this machine here is, is uh, still same sampling methods. Uh, we've, we've done some updates to where uh, the, the frame of the machine is a little bit higher and uh, the cups that uh, the samples actually go in, the, the delivery method for that is a little bit different as well. So um, just kind of a quick uh, preview of the sampler and how it works is we completely went away with the probing system and we're actually using a, a knife. And so the knife, you'll see it sample or cycle down into the ground every 150 feet. And as that knife travels through the ground, it's actually taking a um, seven inch furrow slice of the soil and it's feeding into a cavity inside of that knife. And what's unique about this system is, is it never has to stop. So we're taking a sample every 15 seconds and that's what allows us to take a lot of samples um, and, and get all the way down to a half acre grid resolution. Um, I'll just kind of explain real quick the, the barcoding system. Each sample goes into a cup and every time that knife cycles down to the ground, it grabs the latin long um, information and, and ties the grower farm field structure to that barcode as well. So everything is, is tracked from the time it um, leaves the sample all the way to our lab. We do have our own soil lab, so um, we have a lot of quality control standards. That's, that's another thing we went with an automated soil sampler to kind of take the human air out of everything. So, so with that, I think, uh, go ahead and uh, okay. you, you want to we can open it up when we get okay. back okay. so we're gonna go ahead and uh, run the machine and show you how it works and I'll kind of talk you through it so on the front of the tractor 
there's an air compressor, and that is what uh, cleans the soil out in that knife. And you'll see here in a minute, the knife cycles down into the ground, takes about a 20-foot uh, composite sample for each sample. And then there's about 150 pounds of air that's uh, blowing down in the knife as that chamber goes back and forth, and the soil falls down into each one of these cups. So with the newer design, we um, made it a little bit smaller, compact, which is a, a benefit because it's, it's a lighter machine, which allows us to go to a, you know, a smaller tractor. And everything in the cab is operated by, um, or is monitored by camera, so the operator always has an idea of um, sample quality and and everything is done but with GPS equipment so the operator can keep an eye on everything that's going on. Typically it runs about uh, six miles per hour. I think we're gonna go a little slower today for the for the video. So we do about uh, 60,000 acres of soil sampling uh, per year. Uh, normally split that up about 30,000 in the spring, 30,000 in the fall. Uh, with the technology and precision ag GPS, we're actually able to sample well into the growing season. We'll, we'll actually take soil samples in between the rows, um, which is nice. You know, soil sampling conditions are, you typically have more operating days in the spring than you, than you do in the fall. to get added for our other camera so we'll just go ahead and run the demo if we do get added then we'll take a look at it but okay go ahead Evan. that'll work so on a half acre grid everything's on 150 foot transex and everything's gps guided like i said you can see now the knife is cycling down into the ground the knife comes up, the spout comes out underneath the knife. You can, you can hear the air that's uh, blowing as that chamber goes in and out to clean out the soil, which falls down to each one of these cups. And once it gets back, we'll kind of show you uh, how the cup delivery system works and, and how the samples uh, get, get uh, cycled through the machine. We were gonna put Nick out here on a uh, four-wheeler four with a soil probe and see if he could race the machine and, and beat it, but uh, Nick wasn't too, uh, too excited about that. <laughs> he was afraid he was going to get beat. So uh, on a half-acre grid, the machines can do uh, about 500 acres per machine per day, so that's, uh, that's a thousand samples a day that each machine can can pull and we actually uh, have three machines so we're, we're able to cover cover a lot of acres and um, that's another reason we built our own soil lab as well is you know we're we're pushing through a lot of lot of samples and uh, we also wanted to have you know quality control standards in in our lab as well so so we take pride in you know basically having quality controls um, on that sample from the all the way from the time it's collected in the field to the very end which is you know the analysis all the way through the soil lab so and then the finished product is the results back to the grower and then rec, you know recommendations from there nutrient recommendations and then uh, seeding recommendations variable rate nitrogen recommendations so
better call them and tell them to come back here. <laughs> hey, Josh, just come on back here. Okay. All right. So as far as conditions go for when the you know machine can sample, um, right now the ground's pretty hard and dry, and that's a benefit of, of having the three-point mounted machine with hydraulics. Uh, it doesn't have any problems going down into the ground. With a traditional soil probe, you know, it can be hard getting that soil probe down into the ground when you have hard conditions like this. Um, and then as far as uh, moisture goes, it can go in some pretty wet conditions. Uh, the, the limiting factor really is, is the tractor in the field, you know, rutting up the, uh, potentially rutting up the field, so. So if you can see here, that's kind of the, the finished product of what the sample looks like after it's been collected. And then on the bottom, it has that, that unique barcode. And you can see the, the samples just get pushed out here in this storage area. And these cups get loaded up in here and they just kind of slide in. And there's a dispenser that just keeps pushing the cups around. And then we have uh, And these are how the, the samples get transported from the field to the lab. Each one of these hold 40 samples and they're stored in the mach machine and each day they'll take them back to the lab and start the drying and grinding process. So other than that, this is, uh, this is pretty much the uh, bread and butter of the entire machine so the actual sample collection method is what makes it unique so you can see this knife is what was cycling down into the ground and um, I should have brought a, brought a spare knife to kind of show you but uh, you kind of get the concept that you know this is the spout that comes in and out every time that knife comes up so so with that um, Amanda and Mary do you guys have any final thoughts here or closure or Yeah, so we've been an exhibitor at the Farm Science Review for um, for as long as I can remember. So Dave Scheider is the owner of Integrated Ag. He started back in in 1990, and um, so yeah, we we've been an exhibitor for a very long time here at the Farm Science Review. Always enjoy the show. Definitely missed seeing um, everybody this year at the show. Uh, we, we 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 get a lot of traffic, uh, existing customers, new customers, and uh, kind of look forward to uh, seeing everybody in in 2021. So. Uh, always enjoy the partnership with uh, uh, an opportunity with Farm Science Review and, and doing the consulting and, and soil sampling um, on the ground. So.